friends, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. And if you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, or true skin health products, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, we welcome your calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We are here for you. We want to be your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to my website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866 735-2470, for more info. For one-time $25 fee, you can be in business for yourself. If you're an entrepreneur, you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, you definitely want to think about the longevity business opportunity. And if you are in the longevity business, you might want to think about coming to the convention this Thursday, uh, this Wednesday, actually, uh, the uh, 22nd of August in San Diego. I'll be there Friday and Saturday. I'll be doing a couple of talks, and I hope I get to see you. If you see me walking through the hotel, make sure you stop by and say hello. The Longevity Convention is an incredibly inspiring place to be. If you're in the business or if you're thinking about joining the business, you get to see people who've lost 100 pounds, 150 pounds, got off all their medications, haven't had to have surgeries that the doctor told them were, were inevitable. People who were in wheelchairs months before getting up out of wheelchairs. I've seen all of these things with my own eyes over the last 20, over the past 20 years of attending longevity conventions and being in the longevity business. It's just an amazing business opportunity. And it's tremendously inspiring if you are in the business to see real live people who have benefited from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Ultimate Selenium, the Ultimate Niacin, the OsteoFX, and all the other fine longevity products. The convention is this uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th in San Diego at the Hilton Bayfront Hotel. Hope to see you there. All right, uh, let's see. We are talking, we've been talking about the short chain fatty acids. These are tiny little molecules that are produced by bacteria in the gut in response to fiber. And you, if you haven't heard about the short chain fats, you will be hearing about them. They are uh, poised to be the flavor of the month in the world of nutrition. In the world of nutrition, uh, there is, is filled with fad, nutri fad supplements and fad molecules, fashionable molecules that all of a sudden become uh, popular in the mainstream. You hear about, read about them and hear about them. Short chain fatty acids are in that category. If you're listening to, if you've been listening to this program for the last couple of months, you are ahead of the curve. If you listen to the bright side anyway, you're going to be ahead of the curve because we talk about things on this program that nobody knows about. And then 15, 10, 15 years later, you start to hear all about it. Short chain fatty acids are in that category. There are several, there are three short chain fatty acids. Just a quick review. Fats come in three lengths, long, medium, short. They all have specific characteristics. The short ones 
there's three of the short ones. Uh, we've been talking about the active ingredient or the uh, short chain fatty acid that's found in apple cider vinegar, which was largely responsible anyway for fat apple cider vinegar's incredible benefits. This is acetic acid. There are other things in apple cider vinegar. We'll be talking about some of these substances. But for now, I just want to tell you that I just want to say that acetic acid, the active ingredient in apple cider vinegar, the, which makes up maybe five, six, seven, eight percent of the apple cider vinegar, it's responsible for that tart kind of taste, and I'm responsible for many of the wonderful health properties of apple cider vinegar. The acetic acid is a short chain fatty acid, an SCFA, as they call it. And, and uh, the acetic acid isn't responsible for all the benefits of apple cider vinegar, but for a, a lot of the benefits of apple cider vinegar. The short chain fatty acids and acetic acid enter into the energy producing chemistry of a cell. Now, how a cell makes energy is just mind boggling biochemistry. It's unbelievably complicated and, and intricate and tightly regulated and choreographed and based in just ridiculously intricate and nano-architected chemical structures, a sub, uh, I'm sorry, cellular structures and chemical structures for that matter, electron transport and the mitochondria. It's just amazing stuff. But the point is, is that acetic acid, the active ingredient in apple cider vinegar, can enter into this process, this this energy production process and really facilitate cellular energy. And that is super important when it comes to health because it's all about energy. Not the kind of energy. We think about energy and, you know, we think about, oh, I got a lot of energy today. I can do my business. I can run around. I can lift weights. I can exercise. I can function throughout my day. But I'm talking about cellular energy, the energy in a cell. All disease at the end of the day is, uh, involves somehow a cell not per, working not working with energy correctly. What we call illness is at really energy phenomena, and anything we could do to support cellular energy is going to make us healthier. It's true about diabetes. It's true about Alzheimer's disease and neurodegenerative diseases. It's true about cancer. It's true about the immune system. Working with cellular energy, helping cells produce energy is the very essence of being healthy. Helping cells produce energy, and this is why the short-chain fatty acids and apple cider vinegar is so important. The energy production machinery, the chemical pathways, is, involves something called the Krebs cycle. I'm not going to get into that, but just know that in the Krebs cycle, vinegar, apple cider vinegar's active ingredient, acetic acid, plays a major role, specifically a derivative of apple cider vinegar that we're going to talk about here today and maybe tomorrow as well, something called OAA. The reason this OAA is so important is because you can use it supplementally. OAA stands for oxaloacetate. We'll just call it OAA. And this OAA stuff is very, very, very important in the energy producing biochemistry of a cell. It plays a major role in the Krebs cycle. It plays a major role in fat burning. It plays a major role in helping the body utilize carbohydrates. This OAA via its, its role in the Krebs cycle, oxaloacetate. And the fact that OAA is so important for helping the body burn fat and burn carbohydrates and produce energy makes OAA a wonderful, amazing nutritional supplement for the brain and the nervous system, which utilize much of the energy produced by the body. And I'm talking about, number one, for just plain old cognition, just plain old memory, just plain old brain functioning, but I'm also talking for Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, the neuro, the neurological system, the brain's, the, the body's central nervous system is dependent on energy and energy production is dependent at least partially on OAA. That means if you're dealing with dementia, you know somebody dealing with dementia, you might want to think about getting on an OAA supplement. Alzheimer's disease is an epidemic. I was just reading an article here. This is from, uh, this is from the Univers University Health News. What is early onset Alzheimer's disease? Well, first of all, it's an oxymoron because I don't say it's an oxymoron. It's redundant because Alzheimer's disease is early onset by definition. Alzheimer's disease gets synonymously lumped with the, with the subject of dementia. It's not. Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia. Technically, it's early onset dementia. Dementia is just one of the things that happens as we get older because dementia is nothing more than deterioration of the brain, which follows an inability to utilize energy correctly, which itself follows diabetes and blood sugar problems, probably digestive problems as well. In any case, Alzheimer's disease occurs at the age of 50, sometimes the late 40s, 50s, early 60s. 
This is way too early for full-blown dementia for full-blown dementia to occur. But if it does happen early onset-wise, that's when we call it Alzheimer's disease. In any case, this is an article about early onset. Well, we'll get to this when we come back from our break. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll return right after. We this. all have. Right side, Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. If you miss a program or you want to review a program, I know I talk fast on this show, so if you want to review anything uh, that you may have missed or you may have uh, not understood, go to brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com. Same if you have a... Specific health challenge you or a loved one needs help dealing with, just go into the search engine and plug in plug in whatever topic you like at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. Also have blog posts and news stories at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your favorite longevity products off the website or click on the Join the Team link if you want to start a longevity business for a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business for yourself and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also call 866-735-2470 for more information, 866-735-2470. If you'd like to check out our True Skin Health products, our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist, our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our other fine Truth Skin Health products, all formulated by myself, and I've been formulating skin health products now for 35 years. This is the Truth line of skin health products represents the culmination of everything I learned in the last 35 years about treating the skin. About and it's not about vanity either, by the way. The skin is an organ of the body, and it needs to be treated as an organ of the body using topical nutrition, particularly vitamin C and vitamin A. Where do you get fat-soluble premium, high doses of vitamin C and vitamin A for the skin? Truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. And uh, you're not going to see any finer skin health products anywhere. And you're not going to find skin health products without preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, silicon, oil. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want anywhere but on truthtreatments.com. Check it out today, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we're talking about a very interesting supplement, a very interesting molecule that most folks haven't heard of, OAA, oxaloacetate, similar to the acetic acid that's found in apple cider vinegar. OAA is used by cells to produce energy. All disease states have some kind of energy deficit, uh, energy deficit factor involved or any, a facet of energy deficits. So anything you do to support cellular energy is going to support health, Alzheimer's disease being a classic example of a disease state that's associated with energy deficit. And not surprisingly, oxaloacetate, or OAA, has been used to treat Alzheimer's disease. Estimates are that 15 to 35 people per 100,000 are living with early onset Alzheimer's, or we should say early onset dementia. As I was talking before the break, Alzheimer's disease is early onset dementia. 10% of all dementia cases are said to be early onset. Dementia itself is defined as an irreversible progressive brain disease. Early onset is just when it occurs early, and that's what Alzheimer's disease is. If you're having any kind of cognition issues, it doesn't have to be full-blown dementia. It could just be memory problems, or if you just want to improve your memory, or for, uh, if you're having uh, enter, uh, attention deficit disorder issues. You might want to think about supplementing with oxaloacetate, or OAA. As we age, everything in the body slows down. And this slowdown, this, this, uh, this uh, shutdown, if you will, gradual shutdown is the manifestation of deficits in energy production. Conversely, anything we can do to support energy production at the level of the cell is going to improve the prognosis for disease, especially neurodegenerative diseases because the, neurosyst the neural system, the central nervous system, the nervous system in general, utilizes a lot of energy, burns through a lot of energy. 25% or so of the energy producing f capabilities of the body are taken up by the brain and the nervous system. So it makes perfect sense that when there's an energy deficit, 
it's going to first affect the brain. It's going to first affect the nervous system. And anything we can do to support energy production is going to help the brain and help the nervous system. And this is where your short-chain fats come in. Your SCFAs, your short-chain fatty acids, are major, major energy-producing molecules. They're utilized readily by the body for energy. They go right into the energy-producing machinery. That's all the short fats. We're going to be talking about the other two short fats here uh, later on. And you're going to see these other fats are also very interesting when it comes to biochemistry and biochemical health. Acetic acid, that's the one we're talking about here today. That gets uh, turned into, that can, that can get uh, broken down or, or uh, manipulated into a substance called OAA, oxaloacetate. And this is a chemical that readily enters into the energy production biochemical pathways, the so-called Krebs cycle. And this ease of entry of OAA makes it an ideal molecule to, uh, to use supplementally if you're dealing with, uh, if you're uh, addressing movement disorders, cognitive issues, autoimmune disease, mechanical, uh, mechanical trauma and stroke. Yes, if you have uh, any kind of brain injury, OAA may be helpful. If you have, have a, a stroke that leads to brain injury, OAA may be helpful there. And this is all in the literature, and we'll, we'll be talking about this later today and tomorrow. Also cancer. Cancer is a, uh, one of the ultimate examples of an energy disease. If you rob a cell of its ability to derive energy effectively from oxygen, it will ultimately become cancerous. Dr. Otto Warburg said this 100 years ago. He said cancer cells are cells that have lost the ability or have a, a weakened ability to turn oxygen into energy. Thus, they go into a primitive way of deriving energy. They derive energy from sugar rather than from oxygen. That is the very essence of a cancer cell. Cancer is all about the cell. We get all red herringed and diverted into believing that cancer is about the organ. No, not ultimately. We see it as about the organ, and then we go to specialists for this organ or that organ. But like all disease, cancer is a cellular phenomena. All disease is cell disease. All cancer is cellular. There's no breast cancer. There's breast cell cancer. There is no bone cancer. There's bone cell cancer. There's no pancreatic cancer. There's pancreatic cell cancer. So yeah, there's hundreds of different kinds of cancers, but there's really, they're really all about the cell. And whether you're talking breast cancer or bone cancer or pancreatic cancer or any other cancer, you're really talking about a cell that can't do its business energetically. It can't process oxygen effectively because it's been so suffocated for so long that now it's turned into a sugar burner. It's now getting its energy from sugar. What that tells you is anything you can do to improve a cell's ability to get energy is going to improve the symptomology of cancer. Cancer is an energetic disease. The, the cause and the hallmark sign of cancer is nothing but an inability for cells to get the energy they need to function in a healthy, powerful fashion. And anything we do to support cellular energy is going to support the health, the, the health of the cell, whether you're talking about cancer, whether you're talking about nervous system diseases, whatever. First researcher to describe the potential neuroprotective and anti-cancer and anti-aging benefits of oxaloacetate or OAA was a guy named Russell Swerdlow, S-W-E-R-D-L-O-W. He's a doctor, an MD. And Dr. Swerdlow proposed that energy-producing machinery, the so-called Krebs cycle inside the cell, which is housed, by the way, in the mitochondria. And you may, if you're uh, following health subjects and health topics, you know that mitochondria are now, being, uh, are now being considered a focal point for disease. Well, it's not so much the mitochondria as it is the energy production that occurs in the mitochondria. Anyway, Dr. Swerdlow was one of the first guys to hone in on the mitochondria and energy production as a cause of a neurodegenerative disease. According to Swerdlow, as we age, our mitochondria slow down, and as the mitochondria slow down, they become less able, these little structures, these sub or subcellular structures become less able to produce energy effectively, and that leads to an inability of a cell to remove toxins and to utilize nutrients, etc. And Swerdlow noticed that this is when plaques at the amyloid plaques start to form. All right, we got to take a break. We'll come back with your phone calls and more good health information on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here momentarily. We do have lots of lines open for you. If you're on hold, we'll get to you here 
As soon as we read a couple stories, 844-236-6010. Please check out our Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, including our Beyond Tangy Tangerine. We're speaking about energy here today, and I know of no supplement that you can use that will give you more energy faster than the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's its, that's its claim to fame is energy. Using the Beyond, and anybody, don't just take my word for it. Talk to anybody who's been using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine for any length of time, and they'll tell you that's the first thing you notice is you get more energy. Go ahead and try it. I defy you to use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, especially if you haven't supplemented before, and not notice a surge in energy. More energy means more, a, a better ability to function throughout your day, and it means a better ability for your cells to function throughout the day. When you use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you're going to notice you have more energy, but your cells are going to notice it too, and that means better functioning if you're dealing with a chronic long-term degenerative disease, all of which have some component of energy deficit. And dis-ease in many ways is about long-term burnout which ultimately shows up as an energy deficit at the cellular level. That's where Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the B-complex, the electrolytes, all the high-powered water-soluble nutrients in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine come in. You don't need to know the chemistry of it. You just know you put a little bit in water and drink, and it's like drinking coffee. It's like rocket fuel in the morning. That's how I get up in the morning, is by using half a scoop of my Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Anyway, all the longevity products are up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side from uh, the University of Colorado at Boulder. According to Professor Douglas Seal, Seals, gut microbes go hand in hand with poor artery health. That is poor gut microbiome, poor, poor health at the microbiome level goes hand in hand with poor artery health. Scientific evidence that the assortment of gut microbes in humans influences different critical aspects of health. Researchers think our microbes may have, uh, influence obesity, anxiety, depression, autism, cancer, and gastrointestinal diseases. A possible addition to the list, it, uh, changes in gut microbiome in mice contribute to poor artery health associated with aging. I've been talking about this for years. The gut microbiome, one of the great underappreciated roles of the gut microbiome is to help the body process fats and cholesterol. Most people will tell you that, oh, yes, the microbiome is important for helping you digest food. But very few people recognize the role that the bacteria in the colon play in helping us process fats, especially in, when it comes to short-chain fatty acids that we've been talking about. There's a major relationship between the bacteria in the gut, the bile system, and our ability to process fats and to produce these super high-powered molecules called short-chain fats. All of this is to say, if you're dealing with heart disease, focus on the gut. Focus on the gut microbiome specifically. This is so important. We underestimate it. Your doctor is going to give you a stand drug. Your doctor will give you a beta blocker. Your doctor will tell you you need a, a, a bi will tell you need bypass surgery or a stent or some other medical procedure. When it could all be backtracked to the digestive system. How often does a cardiologist tell you, well, what do you ask you? What are you eating? or tell you to change the way you eat, or recommend or write a prescription for fermented food. If you've got an MD or a cardiologist who's writing you a prescription for fermented food, keep them. That's a good cardiologist. There's a major connection between all health challenges in the gut, but specifically around bile, cholesterol, blood fats, and heart disease. And oh, by the way, when you're talking about bile, there's also a connection between bile and diabetes. This is from Science Daily, research from Ecole Polytechnique in France. I don't know what that means, but it's some French university published in the journal of, a, a study uh, published in the Journal of Clinical Est uh, Investigation. The growing epidemic of obesity across the world is associated with an equivalent increase in type 2 diabetes, which results from the body's ineffective use of insulin. Obese people often develop inflammation in their fat tissue, which in turn can reduce the sensitivity of fat cells to insulin. Now, studies have shown that bile, bile acids, the same active ingredient that you get in your ultimate enzymes from longevity, which you can get at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, bile acids activate a receptor that overcomes the loss of insulin sensitivity. Oh, get this now. 
forming the basis for a new class of drugs against type 2 diabetes. Yes, they want to come up with drugs now that will mimic the bile system to support, to reverse or help you with, with insulin, sensi insulin sensitivity issues. But you don't need a drug and you don't need a doctor. You need to work on the bile system. One of the best ways to work on the bile system is to use your ultimate enzymes and get bile. Another way is to get on a good probiotic supplement. A good probiotic supplement will help your bile work better. Being regular, having regular bowel movements will help your bile work better. Fiber will help your bile work better. Lecithin will help your bile work better. Bitters at the beginnings of your meals, things like dandelion greens or radish or onions or garlic at the beginning of the meal will help your bile work better. Support the bile system. If you've had your gallbladder out, it becomes extra important to support the bile system. And this is true about all health challenges. See, the triangle of disease is the, are the three points that lead to all chronic degenerative diseases, but they're a circle, not a triangle. They're three points, but they circle around each other. So that the digestive system affects the blood sugar system, which affects the adrenal thyroid complex, which then affects the digestive system and then affects the, the blood sugar system and then affects the adrenal thyroid complex, which then affects the digestive system and on and on and on we go. And then each point affects each other point. So the digestive system affects the, affects the blood sugar system and it also affects the adrenal thyroid thyroid complex, the adrenal thyroid complex affects both the digestive system and the blood sugar system, and the blood sugar system affects both the digestive system and the adrenal thyroid complex. They all affect each other. But the good news is, and the, the take-home message is, is all you need to do is focus on those three points. That is the most powerful idea uh, that I can think of, and the most important thing we talk about on, this, on the bright side, and the most important aspect of what I call the bright side philosophy is that these are the only three points you need to address. If you can address all three of these points, everything else will, go, will disappear. All chronic degenerative diseases will dissolve. If you work on the digestive system, if you correct digestive health issues, if you work on the blood sugar system, make your insulin more sensitive, and you tell the body to stand down via the cortisol system, calm down, everything else will work better. Those are the only three points we need to concern ourselves with. That is so powerful and so important. Simplexity is the idea that there is simplicity underneath the most complex phenomena. That's why you can have an entire internet built on zeros and ones. Simple simplexity is the notion, a very recently uh, conceived of idea, that there are simple basic building blocks underneath the most complex phenomena. All right, 844 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Time to hit the phones. Actually, time to take a commercial break. So we'll hit the phones when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open. Please hold. If, you are, uh, if you're hanging on, please hang on if you're on hold. And we will get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. And we have lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number. I am Pharmacist Ben, and uh, tomorrow we'll continue talking about energy production inside the cell, how you can use this wonderful, very um, unknown supplement called OAA, oxaloacetate, that may be unknown, but it's got a lot of literature behind it for helping things like preventing brain damage and reducing the effects of like, cytotoxins and uh, reducing the effects of aging and to increasing lifespan, a whole bunch of benefits associated with oxaloacetate, OAA. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking about the short-chain fats, the short-chain fatty acids on the bright side. Time to hit the phones, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's say good morning to Mary in Oregon. What's up, Mary? I flew to a family reunion in uh, May, and uh, I had terrible leg cramps i'm flying to the convention and oh. so uh i was wondering um i'm going to try upping my magnesium how high can i go with magnesium 
Uh, go to bowel tolerance. Too much magnesium will give you cramps and bloating and diarrhea and a lot of discomfort. It's hard to say exactly how much you need or how high you can go. I'd start, I'd start off between one and two grams. Above okay. two grams, if you do it all at once, you may run into some GI problems, which, by the way, makes magnesium a great laxative. And in fact, it is a laxative, uh, a, a, pres- a uh, over-the-counter pharmaceutical laxative, magnesium uh, citrate, citrate and magnesia, or magnesium phosphate. So go to bowel tolerance, maybe one to two grams. But don't, don't make the mistake of just using magnesium uh, to deal with the cramps. Magnesium can help, but so can the B-complex, so can potassium. So can sodium, for that matter. I would use the Beyond Tangy. T- have you, you're on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, aren't you? Absolutely. How much are you you using? Uh, two scoops a day. Okay, two scoops a day. Maybe up it a little bit. Throw in some magnesium. Uh, use veggies if you're not doing veggies and veggie juices, which are a nice balanced source of electrolytes. It's not just the magnesium, but the magnesium can help, especially if you're a dairy or milk dairy eater or milk drinker, you may be throwing off your calcium to magnesium balance, or you may be getting cal- be taking too much calcium that can throw off the balance. Magnesium has a nice relaxing effect, so it's not a bad idea. But you you always want to ha- you don't want to just use one electrolyte or one one supplement to target a specific health challenge, especially with the minerals and the electrolytes which exist in a balance inside the body. So yes, magnesium, but also all the other electrolytes, particularly potassium. Anything else? Yes, I would like to take your connective tissue uh, supplement. Um, okay. Have, Collagen recovery complex? Yeah. Okay. Because um, even although I've been on the longevity products since uh, 2002, I still have, like, eye problems, you know, uh, uh, Floaters? I feel like occasional pain. And I think okay. if I got my connective tissue fixed. Could be. Could be. Yeah, the connective tissue the connective tissue is responsible for a lot of pain that's associated with just general deterioration, uh, aging deterioration, and the eyes are subject to a lot of that, so that's not a bad idea. Yeah, to get on the collagen recovery complex, take three a day, I'd recommend that for sure. In fact, I recommend the collagen recovery complex for everybody. You don't be, need to be dealing with anything to benefit from, from using the micronutrients associated with collagen, collagen repair, and that's what my collagen recovery complex is. You can get it at truthtreatments.com. Um, but also things like bone broth protein, more protein in general, essential fatty acids play a major role in helping the body build connective tissue, very underappreciated role. The essential fatty acids are anabolic. They help the body build things, especially connective tissue. So your ultimate EFAs are also important. All right, Mary, I'm going to let you go here. I hope I see you at convention. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there Friday, probably. You will see me, Ben. Okay. Make sure you say hello. Thanks, Mary. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's say good morning to Cliff in Ottawa. Hey, Cliff. Yeah, hey, uh, I got a definition for you for that thing you wondered about in French. Uh, I call it uh, polytechnic. Yeah, yeah you're well, French, aren't you? A little bit, yeah, okay. yeah. And what they do is they, it's like uh, here in Canada, it's a publicly funded college or institute of technology that offers a wide range of advanced education credentials basically an industrial type jobs, you know, hands-on applied science, you know, like engineering, things like that. Nice. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. That's and, very nice. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find, uh, oh, Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne. Does that mean say anything yeah. to you? Did I say that right? Yeah. Well, that's Ecole is, is school. That's French for school. Okay. okay. Polytechnique is what I said, and Lausanne is where it's In France. offered. Yeah, yeah. In the state of France, Federale de Lausanne, the state of France, probably, right? Or the state of Lausanne. If I'm not mistaken, Lausanne is like a place in France. Yeah, it's like a a region or something, or a state, or a province. Okay. And uh, so that's what it means. It's like, let's say if you wanted to become an engineer or something like that, you might go to a a polytechnic school. If you wanted to become a doctor, you go somewhere, I don't know, or let's say an accountant, you go somewhere else. You know, you wouldn't go to a, you know, um, it's just like engineers, things like that. If you're an apprentice, you know, uh, you know. Uh, okay. In, yeah, so so basically, how do you, no, it's a good thing you mentioned floaters. What are floaters? Because I, I can, I'm looking at them right now. And just I your eye breaking down. Nothing is, more than your eye breaking down, and you're seeing the breakdown products. Oh, my goodness. How do I get rid of that, anyhow? You got to build up the eye, build up the eye tissue. 
strength in the eye. It's a sign that the eye is deteriorating, and you're looking through a lens, and, and you're looking through a, 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 an eyeball that's got broken pieces in it, basically, microscopic broken pieces. So you, oh my goodness, we call yeah. them floaters. You're actually, it's just basically the deterioration of the eye tissue. All disease is just, all aging is just yeah. deterioration. As we age, our bodies break down. And then so what I, happens, the, a lot of, when the body breaks down, there's a response to that breakdown. Fibrosis is a response to that breakdown. So all diseases are going to have an element of fibrosis associated with them. Poor cell-to-cell -cell communication is a function yeah. of that breakdown. So all diseases are going to have an aspect of poor cell-to-cell -cell communication. And then we'll end yeah. up treating the symptoms. But really, yeah. it's all the, all the same thing. It's cellular breakdown, which leads to deterioration. And that cellular breakdown is caused by a, a, an inability to process or to produce energy, to process and produce energy. And that's why energy is the sine qua non. There's some more French. I think that's, well, maybe Latin. Sine qua non, the very essence of health and anti-aging, is to build the body, is to help the body make energy, help the body produce energy. And that's why things like essential fatty acids are important and the vitamins are so important and, and uh, substances like oxaloacetate and all the things we, basically all the things we talk about, helping the cell produce energy. Anytime you can do that, you're going to get healthier. And that requires digestive health because you can't get energy without food. That requires blood sugar, work on the blood sugar system because the blood sugar system is our energy system. And that requires helping the body feel like it's safe getting it out of this cortisol way of operating, the sympathetic mode of operating, the stress mode of operating. Those are the three elements, and it all has to do with cellular energy, which uh, can help build the body back up again. You know, the body's always breaking down, but it's also rebuilding. It's like a business. You're always spending money in your business. If you just spend money, though, you're going to end up being bankrupt or the, is the business metaphor, but you'll be dead as a body metaphor. If you're just spending money, you're, if you're just breaking down. But the, the good thing about a business is you're not only spending money, you're making money, hopefully. And so you're not always in the red. You're not always an energy deficit in your business. Likewise, in the body, your body's always breaking down. But the trick is you want the build up to exceed the breakdown. You want to be in the black. You want more coming in than going out. When we're young, we're always in the black. You want to look at a little. You want to look at a, a business, a body slash business that's in the black. Look at a little kid. He's way in the black. You want to look at a body slash business that's in the red. Look at an old person, or look at somebody who's really sick. Their body slash business is in the red. What they have to do is turn it around and go in the black. That is to put more energy into the body or help the body work with energy, put more raw materials into the body, and to remove any things that are causing the body to spend too much money, to, to cause an extra deficit. It's really that simple. We're into sick, we're in the red. We're healthy, we're in the black. If you're sick, you got to get back in the black. The way you get back into the black is by putting more energy into the body, and by helping the body facilitate uh, the production of energy and removing anything that causes uh, it, whatever causes too much of an energy deficit, i.e. toxicity and stress. All right, Cliff, I want to get one more call in. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. And Skinny Robert gets the last word. What's up, Skinny Robert? <laughs> Good morning, Ben. Good morning. I appreciate it. Um, my daughter has a little bit of of uh, issues she's been having these various bouts every once in a while she'll lose uh, feeling in her extremities and we talked briefly one day and, and like I thought I'd get a little All right, couple things For, uh, we got we only have a, a 30 seconds yeah. here so a couple things the number one electrolytes uh -huh. number two the B complex okay. high doses of both and if she's got any kind of energy uh, digestive health issues she's got to work on those as well Okay. Okay, because absorption of the electrolytes occurs at the level of the intestine. Absorption of the B vitamins requires a functioning stomach acid, etc. So between the stomach and the intestine, you got to, uh, that's where your absorption of the electrolytes and the B vitamins kicks in. So digestion, B vitamins, electrolytes. Thanks for your call, Robert. Great. Gotta go. You. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.